Righto, what's up everybody? So, um, in a previous video, I've shown you how to go from Windows to Linux. Um, but if you're specifically looking for gaming, um, I'd highly suggest you watch my video on gaming on Linux, the tips and tricks video. That's more just a verbal explainer, things to look out for. Remember, you don't always have to install a gaming specific distribution. Um, some of the gaming specific ones are even immutable. So, if you start using it for anything, other than gaming, you might run into things where you've made changes and on the next reboot, it's it's not there. So just stick to like, just well-known distributions with good support, you know, and, and move on with your life. Anyways, so regardless of what distribution you've chosen, um, you know, you can use your app store or if you've done something more advanced, you can... Um, install Steam via other means, um, but regardless of how you've got it installed, here's the little Steam window over here, You and it, it, it literally you log in with your profile and you move on with your life, really, it, it's kind of a plug and play at this point, but in the past there was a setting that you just needed to check, it should be on by default now, but you should just check, if you see some of your games are not available to install or whatever, go here to settings, then you want to go down here to compatibility and you want to make sure Steam Play is enabled for all titles. The default compatibility tool, I would recommend using Proton Experimental if you play a lot of online games, Palea, um, any EA titles that you know uses the, the launcher for electronic arts, um, things like that. Proton Experimental tends to keep up to date with those games because they are updated on a regular basis as well. Their launchers, changes, parameters, etc, etc. So Proton Experimental would be good for that. If you don't play these sort of live service games that have regular updates, you know, Marvel Rivals and all of that stuff, then switching uh, the default to something like Proton 9 um, is, is a good option or Proton 10. Um, also a good option. That generally is good for most titles. If you're playing older stuff, like we're talking like over, you know, six, seven years old, um, then you could start messing around with other Proton versions, but you can change it on a per game basis. This is for just for general default, okay? I'd, so again, I'd recommend Experimental if you're playing online stuff, um, 9 or 10 if you're playing more single player stuff. Okay, that doesn't get frequent updates. Anyways, I'm going to leave that there. Let me show you how to change the Proton version for a specific title. I've got benchmark.exe here and I'll explain that to you now now. But what you do is you select any one of your games. You can go to properties, right click properties, just like you would on Windows. Then you go here to compatibility. Again, there. Sometimes when I shake my mouse, it... You know, blows up, but hey, it's fine. Um, here you can see force the use of a specific play compatibility tool, Proton Experimental. I've forced this to use, but you can come in here and force this one to use something other than your default. So if you're having issues, if a game's not starting, if there's stuttering, audio issues, things like that, look up um, again, you know, protondb.com. You can go and have a look there, read up there. Also, if Breton DB isn't loading for you, I have a video on that as well. Check that out. Um, but yeah, that's how you change the Proton version. And for the most part, you hardly ever have to do this. It's only very rare cases where Proton Experimental or whatever you have set to default would not work properly. Um, so that's that. Uh, Marvel Rivals, I believe, recently, um, Proton Experimental was giving issues. So let me just check here. Yep, I've got it forced to Proton 9. So Marvel Rivals is running nicely on Proton 9. Um, and that's it. Other than that, you can do your lists. You can do your, you know, I've got installed locally here. I've got a bunch of different list favorites, etc. It works just like it does on Windows. Now, let's move on to another launcher that you can use. Um, oh, wait, hold on. I said I was going to explain to you this uh, benchmark.exe, okay? You can add a non-Steam game, okay? I've actually used this to, in, to quote-unquote, install other software such as, uh, what's it? The Dohua uh, da, uh, CCTV software and stuff like that. It works perfectly fine. You actually add, it, add the, the installer as a non-Steam game. You install it, then... 
after that's installed you come back to where you know this listing you go to properties and you change the target to wherever the actual program's executable is and then you can run it in that proton environment that you used for the installer um, it's a little bit more advanced but it's a similar concept to what something like bottles would use um, very similar similar concept anyways so this is the benchmark for uh, Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition. It has a separate benchmark app. Um, so you, you don't log into the game and run a benchmark out of the game. This is a separate benchmarking app. So I simply just added that as a non-Steam uh, game, gave it a Proton, you know, to use, and Bob's your uncle, it runs. Anyways, on to the next one. The next one I want to show you is Heroic Launcher. Again, you can install Heroic Launcher however you um see fit on your distribution you might be using an app store if you're on endeavor os like me you might be installing it via the aur or the repo you know it doesn't matter as long as you know heroic games launcher is installed somehow now heroic games launcher is really cool it supports the epic gog and prime gaming and it allows you to actually log in okay and it lists your library it's like a library manager here you can see all minor epic games because I don't actually have accounts with the other two. Uh -huh. But um, you install stuff. And what's cool about this one is if you click on a game. Let me just maximize this. If you click on a game. Uh, yeah, I haven't used it in a while. Sorry, guys. I, I have to. I, I haven't used it in a while. So I have to re-log in. Let me go and do that quickly. Is no so here we have uh, my library is now loading. I haven't used it in a while, so I just needed to re-log in and you know authenticate and all that stuff. Um, but it does use Epic Games as official like API, so it's all legit. Um, and yeah, what's cool about this one? If you click on a game, it can actually pull some information for you. Um, blah blah blah. Never played. Game is not installed. Um, here, download size, you know, it gives you all the all the stuff, system requirements. In some cases, it could even tell you what the pro Proton compatibility is here. If you check here, it's Platinum tier, which means it's pretty much just going to install and go and run. Um, if we look at something like, <clears throat> what's it, Fortnite. Fort, Fortnite. Um, if we look at that, it's going to tell you um that the game uses anti-cheat software and you're screwed you can't use it the status is denied the status is probably pulled from are we anti -cheat yet com, which is kind of cool um but yeah so it'll tell you look the game you want to play not compatible with with your system with linux um or it will tell you yeah no sure it's perfectly fine Anything like even from bronze upwards tends to be fine. If if it's like a bronze, it means there could be a little bit of, you know, stuttering or some stability issues every so often or whatever. And then obviously you go higher than that. Uh, platinum, gold, all of that stuff's pretty much playable, perfectly fine. Uh, this one's platinum as well. Obviously very low kind of, low low. What's it? Low requirements there. This one held at least a little bit higher higher system system requirements. Um, Steam Deck compatibility. Yeah, I think it's playable. I think that one means. But yeah, Proton compatibility is gold, so you should be should be a okay there. I have actually played this uh, for one minute and twenty seven seconds. <laughs> you can tell I don't really play on Heroic Launcher much, but it is there if I need it if I want it. So that's kind of your two main ones for like modern gaming is Steam and Heroic. The other one is going to be Lutris. Now, I don't even know if I have Lutris installed. I, I, nope, I don't have Lutris installed, I don't think. So what we'll do is I'm going to show you how even on my Endeavor OS, I have an app center that I installed not too long ago. It's the Snap Store, I think it was. Um, but it's installed so i would normally just install lutris via oh they don't actually have lutris on my no result oh okay they don't have lutris here which is fine i'll just show you how to install it on an arch based system anyways let's check pacman uh, first um 
I don't type very well with my microphone over here. I don't know why uh, I'd like, yeah, anyways, for package manager, if I'm not mistaken. And also they have this cool little, yeah, it is there. So let's install Pac-Man. Um, so to install it, you simply just have to sync it. Just capital S to sync it. Um, it's going to ask you a bunch of questions, tell you what the dependencies are. It's very tiny. So let's install Lutris. It's installed. Wow, that's so much faster than going onto a website, downloading an executable and double clicking it and going next, next, next. So much faster. Anyway, um, so let's actually run Lutris now and we can run it from the GUI. Lutris video game preservation platform apparently is what it's called now Lutris um, also supports Epic Games EA Ubisoft all of that stuff so if you are on uh, any of those platforms Lutris is probably going to be uh, your best bet however with Ubisoft I have actually in the past installed the Ubisoft launcher in like bottles or something and then use that to play games uh, via there you'll see it's downloading a bunch of stuff here down at the bottom uh, behind my little uh, you know, right below my my picture, um, it's downloading a bunch of stuff. That's just like compatibility layers and, and things like that. But uh, you'll now go and log in here, and you know, uh, it'll list your stuff. You can choose to install stuff and whatnot. You can even run your Steam. It can even manage your Steam for you. However, I'm not going to use Lutris. I just don't. I just don't use it. I did have for some of the Ubisoft games I want to play. I do have a launch the Ubisoft launcher installed on a Proton system, but you can just use Lutris. Cool. So that's it for me today. Uh, we're about 12 minutes in. Do remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Do consider supporting me on Ko-Fi. That would be lovely if you can donate anything. Um, if you found this helpful, uh, then I can go and buy myself some more coffee. Uh, coffee is expensive these days. Anyways, if you have any questions uh, or if you want to see me do anything specific on Linux, then please go ahead and just whack it in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.